Today, people lined up at the Orange County Convention Center for day one of COVID-19 vaccines. Sky 6 showing the long lines as some people waited for up to two and a half hours to get their shot. Appointments are mandatory, but because people were excited and showed up early, things did get a little bit backed up. News 6's Nadi Nyanis is live at the Orange County Convention Center. She joins us now with some of your top questions and answers surrounding the shot. Hey, Julie, that's right. Orange County, Osceola County and Seminole County are now all counties offering COVID-19 vaccines to those 65 or older and more counties are to come. That means immunity will continue to build in our own community. But with that, more questions come. We're getting results and getting answers to those questions with Advent Health Doctors today. All right, one, two, three. As both the Pfizer and Moderna COVID vaccines expand to even more people across Central Florida, you're pretty good. You're more questions arise. When, what order will it go in? Um, how effective were each of the brands? The first question is from Nadine with Channel 6. Questions we asked Advent Health doctors today. How long after the first dose do you start building immunity? It appears that for both vaccines, somewhere between 10 and 14 days after the initial vaccination, you begin to see effects to prevent symptomatic COVID cases. So do I need that second dose? They are very effective from that first uh, from that first dose, but the booster is really important. That second dose. The reason for that is is to stimulate the immune system so that you have persistent immunity. What the side effects might be. Which we also asked of the more than 10,000 Advent Health employees vaccinated, what are the common side effects? You know, I think everybody's complained about getting their uh, or feeling soreness in their arm. Um, and I think that's the most common thing that I hear about. For me, I uh, actually had a little bit of a headache the following day. Um, I rested and it was gone. And have they seen any adverse reactions to either vaccine? We have plans in place to handle anaphylaxis at all of our vaccinations stations and I'm happy to say we haven't had to implement those protocols at this time and I'm optimistic that uh, certainly by um, the springtime we're going to start seeing a dent in this. And so we asked more questions for folks getting vaccinated here in Orange County today. You can see behind me they're wrapping up for day one. We're going to get more answers. One of the questions was uh, when will this be expanded to the general public and when could we see life back to normal? Guys, those answers at 6 o'clock. Back to you.